guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Lara for those of you that do not know and in today's video I'm going to be opening up a bunch of packages of books that I recently got from Amazon. I used to be the biggest book buyer ever. Like I only spent my money on books back in high school. It was my biggest obsession. Um, and then when I got to college, I kind of started reeling back and focusing more on eBooks and I got Kindle Unlimited. So I stopped buying as many physical books, which I think was good for my wallet, but sad for me because I do love to have like the physical copies of my favorite books around me. As you can tell, like I just have books everywhere. So it makes me really happy to see my favorite books on the shelves in my bedroom. So I just graduated college for those of you that don't know. And I decided let me just treat myself real quick and buy a bunch of the books that I want to buy. And so that's what today's video is. All of these books that I'm going to be sharing with you, I have read already. They're just favorite books of mine that I've wanted to own in paper paperback versions so that's what today is. I'm really excited to open all of these and get to arranging them on my shelves. It just makes me really happy to have like new books. I don't know. So I thought this could be fun for you guys because I can kind of explain the books as I go since I've read them all and it's almost like a book haul and a recommendations video in one. So I'm gonna get started. I have three things to open. So I have one bag like this and then two brown boxes to open. I feel like it is a lot of books but also it was a lot of money so I don't know if it's 100% worth it. Some of these books pay paperback books were like $25, $20, which for the United States is a bit expensive in my opinion. I feel like I'm used to buying like $10, $15 books. But you know, like I said, I just wanted to buy them. Some of these books have literally been in my cart forever. So I decided, you know, let's just do it. So this one I think is only, oh, should not show my address. Like I was saying, I think this one is only one book in here. I don't know why I bought these all in the same order, but they came in three packages. Oh, oh my God. Okay. So this book is The Risk by L. Kennedy. This is book two in the Briar U series. So I already own the four books in the Off Campus series. I have the copies with the boys on them, which was like a special thing that L. Kennedy was doing on her website. They're not available right now. But I bought those because I wanted to have like the boys on the Off Campus ones and then the girls for the Briar U covers. So I bought all three of the books that are currently in the Briar U series. The next book and the final book is coming out next month. So I'll purchase it next month when it comes out, but I did buy the other two. So they're somewhere in these boxes, but here's the risk. These books are really big actually. I didn't realize like how large these books are. They're also tall compared to the average paperback, but so, so pretty. I'm so excited to have these. I actually bought a decent amount of L. Kennedy books just because a lot of her books are my absolute favorites. So wanted to have them. Okay, so here is the other two books in the Briar U series. So this is The Chase. This is the first book in the series. Again, so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have these. Um, and then The Play, which is actually my favorite. It's the third book. I love all of them, but I don't know. There's something about the third book that I just really like. So here are the three. So pretty. I'm so excited to have these. So yes, really fun, really exciting. This series, if you've only read Off Campus and you haven't read the Briar U spinoff series, you 100% need to. College, hockey, fun, romance. It's so good. So definitely check these out. Okay. And then also in this box, another L. Kennedy book that's also co-written by Serena Bowen, Top Secret. This is one of my favorite standalone novels. I'm really sad though, because look at the size of this. And then look at the size of this. Am I like a freak and that just annoys me? Like if it's going to be on the shelf next to each other that like the two books aren't the same height or is that like, I shouldn't freak out about that. It's the little things like this that I'm like, okay, but you know, we'll deal with it. Um, but I like this cover too. It's actually like the mattified cover. So that's cool. Hopefully this matches the other two Serena Bowen L. Kennedy books I got. We'll have to see because I think those are in the next box. And then in here also we have two books by B. Celeste, which I have another one in the other box. But here we have Underneath the Sycamore Tree, which is my favorite B. Celeste book, I have to say. It's so good. I talk about it all the time. Um, really, really sad, but it's an amazing story. I love this. I'm so excited to have this paperback, you guys. I've been wanting this ever since I read it last year. So this is exciting. Um, and then I also got the truth about heartbreak and then the truth about tomorrow is in the other box, I think. So finally getting my B Celeste paperback collection going. We had to do it. I just, I've wanted these books for so long and these were some of the more expensive ones. So I was kind of like, mm, like, I don't, I don't want to do it, but 
had to do it. So excited for these. Okay, and then the third and final box right here. Let's see what we got. I kind of forget some of the books that I got. I know certain ones, but some I'm like, what did I even buy? It was like last week. Okay, so the first two in here are Him and Us, which is a duology, also by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy. And like I was saying, I wanted them to match the height, and they do, so that's exciting. <laughs> These ones are glossy, and this one's matte. Like, this is what my brain does, guys. Like, does anybody else's brain do this? Like, analyzing everything about the books that you get. Yeah, I'm crazy, I think. <laughs> There's also, like, sticky stuff on this. Like, what's going on? I'll clean that after. But anyways, Him and Us, another really, really amazing gay romance duology, I guess, um, about hockey players. L. Kennedy's kind of the queen of the hockey, the hockey romances, I guess. But this series is my favorite by her. It's just so good. I'm obsessed with these characters. The story, everything about it, I just highly recommend. If you've read Off Campus and you haven't read these, you have to. They're better than Off Campus, just saying. I highly recommend. So I'm really excited to finally have these. I've wanted him especially for so long, so I'm so excited. Oh, like I said, so I got The Truth About Tomorrow as well to go with The Truth About Heartbreak. This is a big book. I've gotten so used to reading on my phone that like I don't even imagine how long the book must actually be. This is a big book. I'm crazy. The fact I read most of my books in a day this big, am I okay? But period, I'm excited to have this one. These covers are actually so, so beautiful. So I'm happy to spend the money on them. But yeah, so exciting. Okay. Oh my god, another book I got that is actually huge, which I wasn't expecting, is Sweet Dandelion by Michaela Smeltzer. I hope I'm saying that right this book right here. I read this on my phone, on Kindle, um, like a week or two ago, and absolutely fell in love with it. And I loved the cover so much. I don't know what it is. I'm not usually all into people on the cover, but this cover just did something for me. I don't know. But this book was so good. It's a kind of taboo forbidden romance between a girl and her guidance counselor. The girl just moved schools because she went through the tragedy of a school shooting and her mother passed away and she has to move in with her brother and she kind of finds solace in her guidance counselor who she meets with on a daily basis and I just love this book so much. I wanted the physical copy of it but very beautiful. So excited to have it but again huge like compared to The Truth About Tomorrow like they're both really big books. Oh my god, no wonder they were expensive. <laughs> okay, and then the last book in this box is actually a book that randomly enough I discovered through Goodreads. Like, I feel like I always find books every way other than Goodreads. I don't know. But this book is called Burnout by Coralie June. And I just found it, like I said, on Goodreads and ended up reading it. And I was obsessed with it. <laughs> I read it on Kindle. And it's kind of like a teacher student but also a brother's best friend romance and I really really loved it. I don't know what it was about it but I thought the story was so fun and unexpectedly like really good. I don't know but I wanted the paperback and it was pretty cheap actually out of all of these books so I decided to add it to the pile but really really good if you want something fun, forbidden, the girl has kind of a dark past. There's a lot going on in this book. It's really really good so highly recommend. You know what I just realized? I actually bought some other books. Hold on. While I'm here, I just bought these three books also, but I opened them, but I'm just going to share them because they're new. First one, Dirty Letters by V. Keelan and Penelope Ward. I talked about this book recently, I think, on my channel, but I'm a huge, huge fan of V. Keelan or Vi Keelan. I think I've been saying V and it's Vi the whole time. I'm not sure. I don't know which way it's pronounced, but I, I know I'm saying it wrong. I can just feel it. Um, but this is a book that they wrote together, and it easily became one of my favorites by them, and I've read a lot of their co-written stories. Um, this one is just so good. I don't know what it is about it, but I was obsessed with it when I read it, so I wanted the physical copy, so there you go. Another book that I could not believe I didn't own a paperback of Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. You guys know how much I talk about this book. It's one of my all-time favorites, and I just needed the paperback of it. You guys know this is a book about a girl who falls for her boyfriend's dad. 
really crazy stuff, but I personally love this story. I just, I'm obsessed with it. I don't know what else to say, but I didn't have the paperback, so I was like, let me get that real quick, so ordered that. And then the final book of this haul is actually a really small little book, um, and this is Finding Perfect by Colleen Hoover. It's actually a novella that she wrote that kind of ties together All Your Perfects and Hopeless slash Finding Cinderella. So if you've read those books and you haven't heard of this, you should definitely check it out because it ties together one of the biggest mysteries of All Your Perfects. If you've read it, if you've found the Easter eggs, if you know all of that, I don't want to spoil anything here, but there's these Easter eggs that lead you to believe a certain thing's going on um, across her books, and I guess this explains it. I still haven't read it, surprisingly enough. Like, it's tiny. I could read it right now. But yeah, basically I need to get on this because if it's what I think it is, I need to know. But I really wanted it. I have all of Colleen Hoover's books, every last one of them, so whenever she comes out with something new in a paperback, I hop on buying it. So I got this as well. It's like the only colorful book out of everything else I got. Like, look. Everything's like so dark and then like pink. Um, but yeah, so these are the books that I picked up recently. Spent a lot of money that I probably shouldn't have, but I'm really happy to have all of these books. Also probably have no space for them, like no space at all, but we'll find places for them. Um, I hope you guys like this video though. I haven't done book hauls in a really long time because I don't buy as many books anymore, but if you did like this video, make sure to let me know down below and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Give the video a thumbs up. You should follow me on all my social medias like Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. But other than that, I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye!